One of the biggest trends in UI libraries recently has been the idea of taking ownership of your components, having them all in your own code base and using these headless UI libraries like Radix and various other ones. The biggest trendsetter in this has been Shadcn UI, which has made really beautiful modern looking components using Radix and some various other tools and applying the stylings on top of that and giving you the components easy to use copy and paste into your code base. He's recently come out with blocks, which are really easy to use templates for making full pages. And the other thing that I want to talk about is his integration with V0 by Vercel to use AI to generate the layouts for us. So let's jump into it and take a look. So here you'll see we've got blocks for the web. And it just says beautifully designed, copy and paste into your apps. And you can even request some examples. At the moment, he's got dashboard examples and authentication examples. If we go into it, you'll see we've got a full page example of what a dashboard application here could look like using all ShadCN UI components. So you've got the card here, you've got the button, you've got the tabs, and it's just really cool to see. And you can see how it reacts responsibly as well. Change the style between default and New York here. And then you can go in and view the code here. So you can see that it's using that ShadCN UI components. As we scroll down, you can obviously copy and paste the code as well. You'll see a load of various dashboard examples here. And also at the bottom, we've got some examples for some authentication pages. We scroll back up to the top though. One of the bigger things that I want to talk about as well is this integration with V0, that AI offering from Vercel to generate using natural language, some layouts for your pages using ShadCN UI and various other libraries under the hood. So let's click edit in V0 on this one. So what you see here is we've got that page here that says an orders dashboard with sidebar navigation. So it's explained a bit of what the page was. You can go in here and edit the code as well. You could change it from within here. And if we go and make a change to this, let's say you don't like a specific bit of this or you want to change the idea of it, you can actually come down here and click pick and edit. If I click this and let's say if I want to change this div, what I'm going to put in is some text I made earlier that says change this to a line graph showing the sales over the month. So instead of this, this month view card, I want to have a line graph there showing sort of our cumulative sales as we go. So if I click update here, it's going to go off to the AI. It's going to generate us a new version here. So you can switch between your versions, go back and forth. You'll see it's added in that line graph and you've seen it generate in there. And then it's just added that line graph into that card there. And again, we can go into the code here and go ahead and view it and make changes where we want to as well, which helps sort of nudge and push the AI into knowing exactly what you want. Now, this was just using the V0's free tier. They do have a paid one, which offers higher quality, slower generations. But it's just a really cool way that we can build out an application using natural language. And as I said, ShadCN UI components and these blocks that he's integrated into V0 as he's actually an employee of his cell is a really nice offering from the company to how we can just add some more layers of really beautiful designs and ways to speak to our layout using AI to make it look really cool. Now, the other thing that's really cool about Blocks is obviously the speed that we can move at to make our new applications, as all we would need to add into something like this now would just be that dashboard logic under the hood. So I want to try out, and I'm going to do this live without any practice, is how quickly we can get an application running that uses this entire layout. So if I open up a terminal, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a next app. So we're going to do pmpm create next dash app. What we're then going to do, I'm going to call this one ShadCN. I can run through all of this as I know all of the defaults there are going to be what I want. While we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the ShadCN UI install command that I need. It's going to install Tailwind for us using the Next.js template here, Next app. So I can go ahead and install that. First, I'm going to have to go into the actual code itself. Let's go ahead and add ShadCN UI using the terminal here. We're going to hit default. And again, we're just going to go through all of the defaults that we want on that command line here. I'm then going to go ahead and open this up in VS Code. I go into app and then page.tsx. Let's jump back to our layout here. And I'm going to click that copy code button here. If I jump back into the page.tsx, I'm actually just going to paste the whole thing in like so. Scroll up to the top and make sure I make this a default export. So I've got that dashboard page now. It's just going to be the only page in our application. The other thing that I'm going to want to do is make sure that I'm installing the components correctly. So let's go ahead and add the components that we need. So if I go into terminal, new terminal, I paste in the command to add the button there. It's going to run for me. I didn't actually want that as we can chain these commands. Let's let it install the button for us. 
What I can do up here is I can say, right, so we need the badge, we need breadcrumb, we need card. Let's keep going here and we can see we need drop down dash menu. We need input, we need pagination, progress, separator, and sheet, table, tabs, and tooltip. Sheet, table, tabs, and tooltip. Like so. So that's going to go ahead and install all of those Shadzian UI components for us into this component slash UI. And we've already got so many components within pretty much minutes there on our application. So let's go ahead and make sure these all install. You can see some of these errors are going away as we go here. It's now installing the separator. So that one's gone. It's going to go onto the sheet next. This error is going to disappear. While it's doing that, I can actually go in and make sure we've got enter as a font here. So what I'm going to do is change this to variable. And then I'm going to change this to be dash dash font dash sans. I can then go into my Tailwind config as well. And I need to add the font family. I'm going to use the Shadzian UI docs to do this. So under extend here. We can then just paste in that font family. If I come up here and do import font family from, and we need to change this, not from that. I've messed this bit up a bit, but tailwind CSS slash default theme, like so. And then I'm going to go back to the page. And now normally you'd add this in your layout, but I'm just going to add it here. So if I do font dash sans and save that. And then finally, if I do pmpm run dev, we can go ahead and open this up here. If I change this to localhost 3000, what we should see is within minutes there, we've got our page. We do have an error here, and that's because I haven't wrapped any of the layout or anything in our tooltip provider. But to cheat here, what I'm going to do quickly is just wrap this whole thing in a tooltip provider with this page. But again, you would probably do this in a layout or something else. Let's go ahead and add this all into a tooltip provider like so. That gets rid of the error. We jump back, and as you can see, we've got a dashboard page pretty much set up within minutes using Shadzian UI components. And I can now worry about going ahead and linking up all of this data from the database and everything else like that. So it's just a really cool way that we can get right up and running really quickly with our applications. I'm, you've probably used Shadzian UI before, but this just shows you the speed and why I love this UI library and this format of UI library so much. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below. And as always, please subscribe.